welcome back to Visions. I'm Mirella Rich. If you've just joined us, we're here with Bridget Arthur, who is a Bridgetine nun who helps coordinate the Bridgetine Asylum Seekers Project. Welcome back to the program. Thanks, Rob. Um, sister, could you tell us, do you think the Australians welcome asylum seekers in Australia like you do? Um, look, the polls would have to, I'd have to say that the polls say no. Um, although I think uh, that probably there's more of a general acceptance now than there uh, was, say, a few years ago. Um, I think this is a result to a certain extent of spin uh, because there's been a connection made between uh, asylum seekers and uh, terrorists and, of course, that's, that's a very um, a wrong kind of connection in that no uh, self-respecting terrorist would ever come uh, to Australia on a, um, a leaking boat to start with or uh, with a, a, a visa that they knew that was going to mean that they were picked up at the airport or, um, you know, I mean, they'd come with a yeah. lot more certainty than that. Yeah. Um, uh, so I think there's been a lot of spin. Um, but... Uh, I do think that there's a difference between uh, just knowing about asylum seekers as such and getting to know an asylum seeker or some asylum seekers. Most people, once they get to know people, okay. uh, then they take them on face value. They either like them or they don't like them as individuals. How do Australians rate in helping asylum seekers compared to other countries? Well, the first point, I think, is that we have such a very small uh, issue here relate, uh, compared with other countries. Uh, the number of asylum seekers who actually come to Australia because of the distance and so on, uh, are, you know, it's, it's a very small number. Uh, however, uh, we have been harsher than most other countries. Uh, our, our policies have been more severe than uh, virtually all other countries in the world. Uh, in that we're the only ones who've introduced mandatory detention for those who arrive here uh, without proper papers. Um, and, uh, yeah, we have, we have treated um, asylum seekers with a fair degree of uh, punitive uh, action and it seems that we've tried to deter others from coming. Mm. Um, having said that, most other countries now in the world appear to be adopting some, or at least, of the same kinds of approaches. So it's difficult for people to find asylum anywhere in the world. Wow. What actually makes you want to do this work? Why do you want to help asylum seekers? You could be doing anything else. So mm. why particularly helping asylum mm. seekers? Mm. Uh, yes, there are lots and lots of other people that, uh, you know, lots of other areas that I'd like to work in too, but this happened to be one uh, that seemed to be particularly pertinent in 2001 uh, when we actually set up the project uh, because it was at, at the time of the Tampa and uh, the children overboard and a lot being made of the issue um, and I got to know some of these people and, yeah, so I suppose that's how I came to get involved in this rather than in some other issues which I could just as easily be working for. Mm. Mm, okay. And what changes would you like to see made in Australia for asylum seekers? I'd like to see uh, us um, doing away with certain things. Um, just for a start, we've just built a, a, a detention centre on Christmas Island, which, if people don't know, is like thousands of kilometres from Australia. I think it's 2,600 or something kilometres uh, from Perth. And we've just built a big new detention centre there for about $500 million, I understand. I'd like to see that $500 million being used to help asylum seekers here in Australia. And I certainly would not like to see people being put that far away again uh, from civilisation. Uh, I'd like to see Nauru closed down, Nauru being the small island in the Pacific uh, where we house a number of, of um, asylum seekers. Uh, I'd like to see people being brought from Lombok, which is a part of Indonesia where we also have a number of asylum seekers just waiting for something to happen. I'd like to see detention centres uh, closed completely so that people could live in the community while they're waiting for their, um, their uh, case to be heard. Uh, I think that they, all asylum seekers should be allowed to work uh, during that entire time until their case is uh, finalised, uh, that they should get Centrelink if they can't find work like everybody else. Uh, there's a real chance that asylum seekers will be destitute in our country the way uh, we conduct our affairs at the moment. And I think all visas that are given should be permanent, never temporary. We give some that are temporary and that gives people huge insecurity.
Right. And what is your personal and professional vision for a just Australia? Oh, I think Australia uh, should uh, do all the sorts of things that we claim through the United Nations, um, you know, charters and so on. Uh, I think we should recognise that every human life is precious. Not, no one is more precious than another. Uh, that everybody should be given dignity because they're a human being. That we are all in solidarity uh, with each other across the world, not just Australians with Australians, but human beings with human beings that everybody should have a chance to determine something of where their society goes, um, that we work in ways that where we're connected with each other, not just individually. Mm. I don't know. That's a yeah. beginning. No, that's beautiful because also um, people need to feel worthy. Mm. I mean, when mm. they feel worthy and important mm. and, and mm. respected and loved, mm. then they are much more productive anyway. Mm. They do mm. much more for mm. themselves and mm. for others, and mm. they're happier. Mm. And if they're happy, then more people are happy. Mm. It worries me when I hear you know, 40 people are killed in Baghdad and that seems to be quite a, a, a tiny little news item. 40 people uh, killed somewhere else uh, would be a huge news item. You know, 40 people are 40 people. Yeah. And it doesn't seem to me to be uh, primarily important just because they live in one place rather than in another. Yeah, exactly. Mm. I agree. Mm. Yeah, it's, a life is a life and mm. it's just as important as anyone yeah. else's no matter what country, yeah. religion, race or creed yeah. they're from. Yeah. And yet some people in Australia have so many more opportunities uh, than others. You know, our Indigenous people have so many options cut off to them simply because they're Indigenous at this stage in history. And, you know, that's, that's a terrible indictment, I think. And the same could be said to a certain extent of asylum seekers. Okay. Well, thank you so much for coming on the program, Bridget. Thank you. It's lovely to have you. Thanks, Nora. You've been watching Visions. I'm Morella Rich, and our guest was... Bridget Arthur from the Bridgetine Sisters. I'll see you again soon.